What up now? I just did this revive float spot thing. I just floated in. Uh, it's like Joe Rogan talks about it where you float inside of this chamber and you pay to go do it. It was like 60 bucks, but I had to try it because they're only in California. And now they have one by my house. And um, I'm going to tell you my experience. <clears throat> it's freaking awesome. You got to try it. So, But I want to talk about... Uh, Q&A real quick. You mentioned in a comment, I'm so sorry I didn't grab your name. What if um, in my previous video, I just press record, forgive me. In my previous video I was for, talking about the different stages of consciousness and how you can consciously choose to develop the lines, level, states, and stages of consciousness. And you said, well what if you're like creating a nightmare your life? You know, I totally get that. I said, well life coaching, therapy, um, I'm totally not for medication unless somebody is, I'm not a doctor or anything, but unless somebody is in a state of a psychosis, then medication, I guess, <laughs> settle down. He doesn't like the cat. She doesn't like the cat. Um, and if you're in a state of psychosis, then I think medication could numb that and reduce those effects and those symptoms so you're not creating these traumas because you're living a trauma, right? Because... Real quick, I'll tell you, Dr. Viktor Frankl in the Nazi concentration camps, man's search for meaning, he, was, while being tortured, he was able to find beauty in the most simple things, and that's why he survived, because he was able to not attach to the pain and suffering all around him, so when you can let go and suspend that, you know, belief, uh, then I think through therapy you can undo all those knots in the back of your consciousness through life coaching, through meditation, through getting around other people like that and begin to alleviate your suffering and get work yourself out of a psychosis back to neurosis, back to pathologies, back to completely healthy, a healthy psychology and a healthy you know, mind will equal a healthy life, a healthy experience the experience you're having of yourself and the others are having of you and I and I and I did ask uh, coach Rob I call him coach Rob he's a NLP certified neurolinguistic hypnotherapist life coach he's in some of my videos here he's one of my best friends this guy is fucking amazing I mean when you talk to him you feel like you're talking to Einstein he literally can navigate behind your subconscious mind and tiptoe around all the mind, like the minefield, <clears throat> to not set off triggers and uh, reactions. And um, you know what? I just did that's so stupid. Look at that. I don't smoke cigarettes. I don't smoke weed or anything. But um, we had some friends over and they were smoking. <laughs> and I said, "What well, shit, dog?" And I, I took a, uh, a half of a cigarette and I took a couple hits of it and put it out. <clears throat> and it's irritating my throat. And I was like, why did I do that? Um, just for the hell of it. But, um... I don't know how people smoke like a pack a day. But we all have our own vices. Some people, it's, like I said, being addicted to their own bullshit. You know, some people it's drugs, whatever it is, but... Anyways, when you talk to Rob, he um, he can tiptoe behind your consciousness and like bring you right to a state of like I talked to him a, a couple months ago. I was in some really deep kind of I was real wound up. I felt really trapped and and I was suffering and I went to a depression. And that's not normally like me. It's just because I have all these things that I want to do in my life very badly, but yet I've got a household to pay for and bills to pay and, and a kind of a family to feed. And that comes first, you know. And so uh, you, you try to do what you do to chase your dream on those little slivers of time. But if you just jump off and chase a dream without examining the hard facts on the ground, you could end up in a shitty, you know, position. So it just was really getting to me. But anyways, I talked to him on the phone. And just by talking to him within 10 minutes, I was like, oh, you hear those wind chimes? Life is good, man. There's nothing to bitch about. Right? So, I'm opening a lot of loops here. Let me close some of them. The revive float spa thing, the floating. Um, Try it out. It's awesome. 
I think that um, if you can get to a place of uh, where you meditate regularly, maybe go for walks, and develop little routines that are back to loving yourself. And forgiveness is huge too. Forgiving, maybe, maybe you felt like you're a piece of crap because something when you were a kid you were ignored as a child I don't know what it is or maybe you were abused I don't know if you can forgive yourself and forgive others and say you know what it's not my fault that happened but it's my responsibility to grow and be happy now you can get yourself into a, a place of happiness again and start to um, work out and dissolve that crap from the past and build a healthy now and then build a healthy future and then that's where some inspiration can start to come in when the inspiration starts to come in like the sun shining on your face <sighs> yeah I can do anything from here right you could do anything from that place from right here in the now I think the now is the answer coming into the now um, if you if you'd like a consultation with me, um, I'll put a link in the description below. I talk I can talk about this with you one on one over the phone. And if you would like to talk to Coach Rob, and maybe you're going through some stuff, I'll put a link for him as well. And then you can get on the phone and do a consultation with him as well. And then again, I'm not just trying to sit here and sell you anything. But if you happen to be in a place where you're you know straight up suffering, and you need somebody to talk to. Um, somebody I'm not saying that I'm a professional but Rob is can get you out of that stuff uh, relatively quickly into a whole new place a whole new possibilities right all right so I'm gonna finish this video I got a bunch of stuff to do I know you do too and all right I'll see you in the next video later